Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we've got Scorpion as the featured champion, and we've got Dr. Voodoo in the basic. And I did something that I don't usually do, all right? I went for the five-star Scorpion round one. I went for the five-star featured round one. The reason that I did that is because I am planning on going for Dr. Voodoo round two as a six star in the basic. Hopefully he goes as low as I think he will. I don't think a ton of people really want him, but I like him. I like him. And if he goes uh, fairly low, I should be able to pick him up without using any units to revive and refresh. So um, that's the plan. Now, if he's gone much higher than I thought, which I can't see that he'd be going for as high as like Kitty Pride or Hercules or something like that, then uh, if he goes that high, I wouldn't go for him. It's not worth that. But if he goes low, like, you know, in the 40s, 50s maybe, then yeah, I probably will go for him. So in any case, let's find out if we got this five star, as you can see, I have not looked. I had the game off and I went to sleep. I took a little nap. Look at this, I haven't even done the uh, T4 basic yet. I will, of course, do that a little bit later. And of course, I haven't done any of the Sunday arenas. All right, let's find out together. Oh, whew. I didn't see a profile picture and I'm like, okay, I already knew that, you know, Dr. Voodoo, I'm actually surprised I got um, any shards, any six star shards from that because I just went for milestones. That's something that I've changed in the way that I am doing the arena. Instead of trying to get shards and go for a champion, I'm just going for milestones in every arena. All right, let's see what we got over here. Yes. All right. Uh, 144. That's better. Because I, I, my heart stopped a second. I was like, wait a minute. I don't see the Scorpion profile picture. Uh, and we'll see the score that I put up. Uh, I was pretty confident. But things happen, you know, especially round one. I'm far more nervous if I go for a champion in round one than if I go for round two. Because I have no idea. All right, I have to go by, you know, history, and I just pretty much go overkill. And you'll see what I mean. All right, let's take a look at the uh, basic arena first. You can see I just put in my usual, um, or not my usual, but what's becoming my usual uh, score, which is just the milestones. I may start putting in just a little bit more. Um, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But milestones is all I'm really after these days. But... You know, 11 to 30%, 11% to 30%, not bad. But that means he probably went low. So I'm very, very uh, hopeful for that. Black Gamer, congratulations. And uh, SCCP, what's up? Congratulations as well. Ben Riley, congratulations. Oh, we got some people that like Dr. Voodoo like me. And I want to know from you guys, if you're watching and you got the champion round one, are you going to go for his awakening? Um, that's a good question. I probably wouldn't because the basic is just like an awakening gem and I can wait. I want him just because I like him. And when I awaken him, that's great. He'll go up. J4 is awesome. Congratulations. You like voodoo as well, eh? I don't know how you do the voodoo that you do so well. All right. Ah, oh, man. A lot of names going for Dr. Voodoo. And he's still cool. But you guys, what score did you put up? Brady the Goat, congratulations. What score did you guys put up, man? Inquiring minds want to know, especially since I want to go for him round two. I want to know the scores you guys put up to get uh, up there. Coat hanger, congratulations. I wonder 
if you already had Dr. Voodoo as a six star and were awakening him, he is kind of new as a six star. So this might be a first time um, acquisition, but congratulations. And again, I would love to know what score uh, you guys put up. For me, this arena is the important one because that's the one that I'm going to be uh, in round two, provided the scores are, you know, reasonable. All right. And that is it. Banchitas. You are the last one to get a six star Dr. Voodoo. Congratulations. But now we are going to see who is Mr. or Mrs. 101. Jesus Christ. I'm so sorry, man. I, I suspect that's exactly what you're saying. 101 is not a place anybody wants to be, but someone is always in that place. All right. Let's see who else we got. All of you guys, I know. You're probably saying that as well, 104. Oh, man. So close. So close and yet so far. Heartbreaker. Some of these names are oddly appropriate. But now down here, probably not. Some of you might have even been surprised to get the five star if he went really low. But um, I don't have the cutoff. The arena just came out. Uh, nothing has been posted um, at this time for uh true coast so if anybody gets any information let me know but it's not going to change my grind for tomorrow tomorrow i will grind and even if i decide not to go for um dr voodoo that just means i can stop early and get the shards but I will be going just for the milestones in the other one. So um, that should help me out quite a bit. All right. Also got uh, possibly a reprieve. Uh, my sister had an appointment uh, Tuesday morning, but uh, we might be able to do something Monday morning uh, instead, which means I won't have to run her over to the doctor while I'm trying to grind for this champion. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right. And that is it for the basic arena. Now let's take a look at the featured arena. A new champion. I don't really know much about him. That's the score that I put up. And that was a bit overkill, as I was mentioning, because normally, if you guys noticed, I will put up 60 million no matter what. Even if they went for 40, I'm putting up 60 no matter what, uh, round two. But for round one, I had no idea it's a new champion. Maybe he went crazy high. I don't know. So instead of putting up my usual 60, I put up 75 instead, which was just another uh, round really. So it wasn't that, uh, that bad. All right, let's see. Really? Number four, really? Okay. Anyway, <laughs> uh, let's see. <clears throat> Wanja, congratulations. Let me see. Nadog, that, that name seems familiar. Congratulations, just in case. So you don't give me a a uh, comment saying, you missed my name. To which I would say, come by more often. All right, let's see. Ribbon the Rock, congratulations. Uh, something that I've noticed uh, on my stream, a lot of folks that I haven't seen in a while have started to come back. And I wonder if it's because the new progression title, the input system going into open beta, I'm not sure, but I do know that some folks were saying that they were leaving until they get the input um, straight. 
And even though it's still in a beta right now, I've been running it um, for a few days now. And I still have uh, one issue, really. But that issue can get me killed and can cause me to lose a fight. Um, but I'm keeping it on for now. Um, I've even uh, kept it on while I did AQ and AW and have been able to do both. Now, in AW, uh, I did experience that issue once. And uh, it may have cost me the fight. Uh, it didn't happen at the end. But because of it, I got hit. And I did end up losing that fight. But I don't know if I would blame that for um, the loss. All right. See, Dr. Bonner. And that's it. Huck Finn, you are the last one to get a six star Scorpion. So let me know what score you put up. That'll help some other people when they're planning for round two to grab a Scorpion uh, six star. I'm not. Um, but let's see who came so close and yet was so far. Tech Mex. I'm sorry to see your name there, man, as I know you are. You're probably more sorry than I am. Did I say more sorry? Ignore me. You're probably sorrier than I am. There we go. That other thing didn't happen. Don't tell my mother. Time to shine. Uh-oh. So you were 110, so... What score did you put up and where are you going for the six star? Because within 10, I usually assume you guys were going for the six star. So you have my condolences, but at the same time, you got the five star, which you may have gotten in, in uh, crystals. If you open them up, I don't know. But congrats on the five star and condolences on missing the six star. They go plan B1 over there. Dijon. Keep thinking of the mustard. Magi TV. See Alias. What else we got here? Hey! Congrats, Lord Shadow. Okay. Now, I know that uh, KT1 was going for the five-star, but he was doing a leisure grind. But he has a pretty big roster, so his leisure grind may still have gotten him in the top 200. I didn't see his name. But he may still have gotten uh, the five-star because 201 to 500 also get the five-star. And he did say he was doing a casual grind. All right. And yeah. Ooh, Ami, 89. What is up, man? I haven't seen that name in a while. I wonder if that's you. Um, But I haven't seen you in a very long time. Uh, Ami was uh, a regular on my channel and... Uh, a big supporter back when I was uh, not even live streaming. Uh, I think, well, no, I was live streaming, sorry. Back before I did my face reveal, because I did live streaming before I did a face reveal. And he was a supporter before the face reveal. And uh, I hadn't seen him in a while, Amino89. So good to see you there. I don't know if that's really you. But anyway, that's going to do it for the video, guys. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. And especially for Dr. Voodoo, if you know what the cutoff was, if you have screenshots or anything like that, hit me up on Discord and let me know what scores people uh, were putting up for Dr. Voodoo to get into that top 100 because that is of good interest to me because I'm 
planning on going for him. All right, so take care and you all have a blessed day. Thank you.